So probably you are preparing for your VLSI career and then you are getting these clips. These are little disheartening. You're probably feeling sad that yeah, this is not a perfect time to prepare for VLSI jobs because all the tech industry, tech stocks in abroad in India are breaking down. So probably you are thinking of some plan V or preparing for government job or something else. And many economists are also predicting that we are in the verge of getting into recession. Like recession would start from 2023 to 2024 or who knows what will happen. We don't have any knowledge because we are a micro electronics guy and we are not playing with micro and macro economics. So in this video first part I'll be telling you actually how VLSI could be a recession proof industry for you and in second part of this video I'll be telling you about some plan V. So let's get started but before that please spend your two seconds and like this video because this is the only thing by which YouTube can know that you are getting value from this video and it will help to grow my channel further so hey new people i am rajdeep and currently i am an engineer at intel so i am getting around many questions from your side that hey we are preparing for vlsi but we don't know about this thing about this recession and probably we might don't have any job due to this recession but again sometimes i feel like how could you say this thing just imagine virtually we are too much dependent on technology and after covid era or we are in covid era right now also but due to this covid era we are much more dependent on to the technology before 2020 how it is true see if you see the all the stocks which grown by exponentially of just after covid it is sole reason for that only and this digital can't be driving without the VLSI engineers so this recession phase could be a one two or three year phenomena but this industry gonna be stay here it, it gonna be growing as fast as we can think of you can see this report by Deloitte they are predicting considering the current economic situation then also that we could grow our semiconductor industry by 10% at the end of this year we can get a 600 billion market cap and there are many semiconductor leaders they are saying that we can easily easily touch the 1 trillion mark by coming one two year so it is needless to say that vlsi or digital is gonna be here because we want smart city iot embedded ai this thing will be there and without that human can't grow so considering this fact actually i was having a conversation with, with my one of my friend he is also in vlsi industry and he was thinking about hey what to do if we lose our job because recession is coming then i said hey we are recession proof and he was not convinced then i said hey see you have a mtech from a great college you are working in semiconductor giant and if there is layoff also then also you can get a job easily because you have the degree from a top tier college and then experience from a top tier company so the first trick for you if you are not into your mtech and you are thinking of going for mtech in next year or in the next to next year then make it exactly sure that you do your mtech only from top tier only because that give you extra age into your career and you can proudly say hey i am recession proof probably i am not there are chances but still i have the confidence and that confidence you will gain only if you do your mtech from top tier now top tier definition would be of your own i won't be giving it to you but maximum of my audience would be already in the journey of mtech or in their btech last year and they want to go to the vlsi industry and they don't have that top top tier tech or according to them their college is not top tier so what the plan for them but before i go to that answer i need to make one thing clear that you have seen last two years how tech industry has accelerated and many people out of you only are choosing vlsi as your career as your future career only because you are thinking that VLSI have much of potential and it will give me a lot of money right so if you are a person who are choosing VLSI only because of money or only because of peer pressure then probably you won't be getting a job during this recession because in the recession there would be a shortfall of job that is sure but that shortfall of job will affect only those people who 
are pursuing VLSI only because of money factor or other factor and they from inside they don't feel like studying electronics or they don't have a passion for electronics so just ask yourself do you have the aptitude and interest for VLSI do you have the aptitude to solve those complex circuits if the answer is no then this is not a bad thing you probably meant for something else there are some other fields also if you are passionately want to follow VLSI and then for you the answer is that the first trick would be you need to be in the top 5 to 10 percent of your batch how to define that thing one criteria if you are a fresher you are applying for a campus recruitment then one criteria would be your cgpa your cgpa must be in top 5 to 10 percent people because all the mass recruiter mass recruiter means all the semiconductor giant who recruit in two digit 20 25 they're gonna reduce into one digit probably this year and this might not be happen also this is just my prediction and this might happen in next year 2023 so this is just a prediction based answer so they're gonna reduce a little if they're gonna recruit for 20 probably they will come for 15 but they are recruiting so if you are in your top 5 to 10 percent of your batch according to cgp according to your knowledge according to your projects then there is nothing to worry about and again this is a perfect time to make your cv as much strong as possible and the most important thing in your cv are the projects so it's a damn important thing that you devote your maximum of time to develop new projects you need to keep on doing projects few months before i have published this video and i'm damn sure 90 percent of you haven't followed the everything i have said there you still haven't started the basic project also like characterizing your mosfet please start it you need to start it it will go slow it will take time two months three months four months but if you don't start it then you will never go into the complex project start with simple design a end gate design a not gate design a flip-flop do those type of simple project play with very low do some layout thing and then try to show your skill in the linkedin in the github make a good documentation and then only you can do the industry relevant project which you can write onto your cv so keep a extra concern about developing a strong cv right now because right now recruitment will come little down probably and a good thing and bad thing about vlsi industry is that we already have a skilled engineer shortage in vlsi industry so if you have the skill then again there is nothing to worry you will get a job you need to reach up to that recruiter that's your task so now there would be many people who would be in your btech or mtech and your college campus core company are not visiting right so for them you would be thinking that it would be more tougher this year because already no core company are visiting in our campus this year there won't be any possibilities that they will come to you but hey here you need to explore your google you need to uplift your searching skill why I'm saying this thing see this report so here the former director of IIT Delhi he is explaining about his experience of VLSI startups and he is finding lot of difficulties to get the talent you can see he, he is saying that he can't afford his own PhD student because he need to pay a large amount of money and any startup can't do it in first go so there you would be a default choice if you are okay with working with little less salary so you need to reach up to those startups they won't be coming to your campus you need to reach to them through your google search skill there are many service based vlsi company there is nothing harm to work in service based company it's all about learning the skill getting the industry relevant skill so this is you can get in the product based also in service sector also or in startup the downside is that there you probably have little less payment but it's all two and three year of journey and then you'll get your deserving salary as we already have a shortage of skilled engineer this recession won't be hampering a lot to any vlsi industry job so before i go to the plan b i need to iterate it again that this recession boom factor these are all a part of business cycle you can see this screenshot it is a well-defined phenomena there is a recession now and they, this will repeat again in 10 and 15 years you don't need to worry about recession so this is a part of game and this is not 
not in your hand but the thing which you have in your hand it is developing your skill and everything are all freely available you have the internet it's only you need to devote your time if you don't devote your time don't tell other that hey because of recession i have not got a job if other can get a job from your batch then why you are not getting it the fault would be in you okay so what is plan b see if after doing everything also reaching out to them you haven't placed to any vlsi service based or product based or mnc then there are some plan b and they are good also so the first path would be taking a it job many would be feeling no 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 we don't want to go there we hate coding but hey dear vlsi industry you want to be growing vlsi industry you need to have a coding knowledge and i am not saying a coding knowledge like building a facebook or amazon or microsoft you need the mild coding skill and i am telling you to join a it service based job where you only need a mild coding where only the logic is needed not all the core concepts are needed of computer science which you don't know so that mild coding you need to know for growing into vlsi industry and so if in this meantime in this era of recession if it come and you haven't placed then use your that time to get a it job and you can build your skill there if you are not sure about no i don't want to go to it then you can explore the embedded development journey also because it's a little bit close to your uh, core vlsi field right also you can go for iot sensor based domain in iot bro you probably are not thinking of about in iot we have a huge potential in future all city gonna be smart city and who will convert those to smart city anybody who know the skill required for developing a iot just think do you don't like to have a app which can tell you do you have parking space in your locality or one kilometer behind of you and this thing can only be possible through iot so you can explore those things also then there are some other positions also like you can go to all the major institutes they keep on uploading research assistant position and i think in the recession if it come those things won't get affected because research thing will go on so you can apply there you can get some iit research assistant position and that would be great for a rnd vlsi job like if you want to do something there so you can explore that also you can also join a coaching institute as a faculty you can spend your one two year close to your subject and by that time you can build up on your skill and think this plan we need an exhaustive google search skill and here in my channel i'll try to help you about those opportunity i'm trying to start a new series where i'll be making a video in a month where i'll collect all the opportunity from other various field and in a bundle try to inform you about those things so to get those type of video you need to keep up my motivation up and how you can do by three way like subscribe comment and sharing fourth way so in this video i have said many times please uplift your skill but i know after having a free resource also why we are not uplifting our skill because we are not getting a feedback as a human we need recognition like somebody need to recognize us that hey you have completed this thing right so if you need that recognition try to register for certificate based course there would be udemy there would be many other platform but they probably costly there is a much economical platform we have and that is nptl you can check out this video here i have said like in this july semester what are the nptl course live for registration where you can submit your assignment they will give you feedback then you can write the exam you'll get a certificate so try to see this video and again and before i finish please keep your mind cool you will get the best thing which you deserve see you in our next video tata bye bye